So, uh, I am talking to you today about something that is kind of cool. I think it's very cool. It's the use of pedals for more than one thing. And we're going to talk about just two items today. The first is triggering, right? Most drummers um, are striking a bass drum pedal. That could be the same thing. It could be an acoustic drum or um, uh, a trigger envelope. In this case, it's a trigger envelope, meaning a, a signal that goes out to your uh, module, which is interpreted to become a drum signal. So that gives you a bass drum note, or whatever note you want, right, as, as we know. And then the other one we're going to talk about today is switching, which is just like a switch on your wall that you can turn on. Um, in this case, the switch goes on when you're all the way down on this pedal. Um, I do that on acoustic drum pedals by using a, um, a, a magnetic reed switch, which does the same thing. So when the pedal is held against the drum head, a switch is activated, or when the pedal is closer to the drum head, but, but usually very close, or pressed up against the drum head, which they tell you not to do, but I do a lot. Um, so, basically what they call close, close a switch, really, close the circuit, allow uh, electricity to flow. On a keyboard, if you hook that up to a keyboard, the note would allow to be, would be permitted to sing on. Because that would hold it open. And the second that you let go, it would stop. So we can hook that same contraption up to a drum brute or any drum machine. This is just a simple drum machine that I have here. It's called a drum brute. But it's got a pretty, pretty common layout. Across here you have 16 lights, right? And I think they're even labeled, yeah, 1 through 16. So they are set up in quarter note distinction. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4. Or 1, E, N, A, 2, E, N, A, 3, E, N, A, 4, E, N, A. Right? Four things. So when this switch goes on, it basically sends a, sends a, a note out to that to say start playing. Play, 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 play. And if I use the one on the floor, I'm going to just show you what I'm doing. Right? Play. And if you look down here, you'll see that when I do that, not much happens. Basically, what's happening is this one here is activating. That's the first note. And if you look here, you'll see this is one and, right? Because we just pointed out how these are the 16th notes. So that would be one and three. So whatever this is, and I can tell you it's the kick drum, is playing on one and three. That's a standard pattern for kick drum, right? One and two. You can switch that switch really quick, or you can hold it on. And you can do it rhythmically because it's hooked to your bass drum pedal. So if you hook it up to a basic drum brute, uh, or any drum machine for that matter, I have the drum brute here. It's a fairly inexpensive machine. You can use it to activate that or to trigger it. So, <clears throat> right, you get that, that note. That's coming from the drum brute. Why am I getting that bass drum note from the drum brute? Well, I'm getting that bass drum note from the drum brute. Oh, I should be doing this. So you can see what I'm doing with my foot. This is what I'm doing. Right? Simple, quick, what we're used to doing with the bass drum, how we're taught to play. Um, so, if, when I do that, I'm basically flicking a switch really quick. I'm saying on. So it tells the drum brute on, start playing, but only long enough to trigger that first note. Which in this case, I've programmed to alone and only be a bass drum note. So basically, it becomes a trigger for the bass drum. And that works from other places here on the drum set. In the case of this kit, so basically what happens is you're triggering the bass drum note, it comes across as an electronic drum note because it is, uh, in this case it's actually an analog synthesized drum note. Um, but it's the first note of a sequence. If you keep playing that sequence, if you hold the pedal down, so thus far I've been playing it like this, well you heard me holding it down on that kit over there. Um, when it's held down,
by, um, you can create a lot of different types of rhythms by placing that bass drum note in different places. As you see, um, when I hold it down, you can create different rhythms. So then if I dial in the Nord, right, so now I get a Nord sound from that trigger as well, because as I said, the trigger envelope portion of it go, goes out to my Nord P3. So now I'm also getting that. I'm gonna turn down the drum brute so you can hear what, what is coming from the Nord. And now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to turn down the Nord and turn up the drum root so you can hear the bass drum note. There's nothing coming from the, from the P3. But we're getting that. If I, Again, if I play it and hold it down, Adding that extra note in, the, the Nord note or any other machine note that is uh, any other drum module note that responds to the kick, uh, identifies that one for you, um, which I took lessons from a drummer recently who said that was one of the most important things is that the drummer be able to point out where the one is. Um, for that, you have to know where it is yourself. I often have this on my left pedal. Um, over here on this, I mean, they've got a, a, a variety of arrangements that use this kind of a setup for um, for playing, and it is just, it's just a blast. I just added a keyboard to the mix. Um, it's an Akai MPC uh, keyboard. And with the rhythm I programmed last night, just something really, really simple in two minutes. Um, the nice thing about doing it this way is the programming is a lot easier. Like if I want to change this bass drum so that there's no bass drum uh, or, or it's, it's uh, eighth note bass drums all the way along. First bar. Really that's just the two, the first two beats of the first bar that I'm allowing to play through. Um, I also want to point out, I mean I made some other changes and, and I added the um, Akai MPC into the mix which if I just turn these both of these down so you can hear that alone so now I'm gonna add the, the drum brute into it playing along with the drum machine which also now is playing along with me because 